Hey guys, today we will learn about wave management. Uh, I was trying to make a formula like a plus b equals c blah 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 about wave management, but it doesn't make sense because we are playing over 100 champions and each game has different champions, right? So we need to learn how to think, what should I think when we want to do wave management, right? So basically, we need to think our push power, clear power, speed. Comparing Vayne versus Jinx, you understand it, right? Uh, gank setup, threat power. Comparing like a uh, Soraka feeder stick, support plus jungle gank threat, and uh, Leona plus Rexay jungle gank threat. It's totally different, right? Uh, jungle position, enemy jungle position, it's basically uh, learning about pathing, thinking about pathing, check enemy jungle camp, watch minimap. Calculate the death time, back to ball lane time. This is because some people actually just kill ball lane and they lose the lane because they didn't have time to go home. They didn't, they had the time, but they just missed their timing. That's the important thing. So that's why you need to check death time, like when Miss Fortune die, you need to check, oh, two seconds, one second, now she's alive, okay, she's coming back, coming ball lane in 25 seconds, blah, 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 back to ball lane time, right? Uh, and there's another thing, like, of course, a lot of things more than Accelerator, Accelerator, uh, TF Global Ultimate, uh, Pantheon Ultimate, yeah, sure. And then both three camp, both three camp gank time around this time full camp gank time around this time yeah and let's get into the game uh, i will try to speak what am i thinking right so right now we leashed it we leashed it we are going to uh both to the top side right and then check enemy leash did they yes they did what are they they are misfortune rel plus lilia jungle Lilia jungle plus rare support. Am I gonna die at level 3 gank? Uh, possibly. Okay, so around that time, 2 minutes, 20 and 30, I might have a ward, I might need a ward around the bush, at the river bush, here. And now you wanna push the wave, why? Because I wanna push the wave, I wanna have a level 2 priority. Alright, get it. And then, oh, we got the rare flash. Oh. Now you should think, well, with the, without flash rail, do I die? With the proper uh, spacing, I should be able to run away against the rail W. He doesn't have a flash, right? So that means, oh, I actually don't need to ward right now, right? And then, on the minimap, there's a Lilia. We said 2 minutes 20 and 30 between those time, there's a gank timing. Yes, she's doing it. So after this time, all right, our mid is just dead. What do you think? You need to think it's pure 2v2 bot lane. Why? Because Lilia needed to go top. She started bot and she need to take top three camp. So it's a pure 2v2 bot lane. Think about your wave setup. Like what should I do? Should I uh, keep pushing this lane? Or if you have a different champion such as Caitlyn, Caitlyn Karma, Caitlyn Morgana, then you wanna stack the wave and then you wanna crush and hit, hit the turret, right? But I can't hit the turret as a level 2 Jinx against the Realm Misfortune. So I wanna push, keep pushing, and bounce the wave, and we have a Pyke Q angle, let's look for it. When you are doing it, you also need to look at, look at your jungle. Because of Karsus, he can't take top crap. Why? Because of Lulu getting pushed in. Viego just died, he might have not priority. But ball lane, we have a priority. So that means the Karsas will come bot, bot crap. All right, so what should I do? What do I need to do for bottom lane, Karsas bot crap? We need to keep pushing, having a bot prior, right? So I need to keep push, why? Because if you have a priority, if there is any case, the Lilia just pathing this way and trying to fight, we can actually go this way. Is trying to help Karsus and we end up with the number of advantage we're gonna win the skirmish so that's why we're gonna push it and now pay attention where is Karsus going when you are doing lane phase yeah I understand thinking of uh, doing a CS doing a 2v2 lane it's really tough 
but you need to check the minimap. On the minimap, he's going somewhere, man. Where is he going? He's going enemy golem. So, with this pathing, you can think this way. Ah, this Karsus is actually thinking about enemy golem. He wanna fight. Why? Lilia might be there. We did a top full camp going to bot crap, right? So that means Lilia should already did same as Karsus, top three camp and top camp, top crap. So here come back bot. She will. She'll come back bot, and that's what she's looking for. That's what Karsus is looking for. He wanna fight for Lilia. So what do I need to do? Even right now, I have a mistake. I cannot push this wave fast, right? I cannot. And then, that means I need to ready to move faster here. I need to be here. I need to be here. Because if they move this angle as an MF plus rel, they are faster in this jungle fight. But if we move this way to follow up, at least we might have same number fight ending up same number fight right so this is a totally mistake i'm not ready to move yeah look at that now lilia showed and now oh i already did two auto attack wasted two time two seconds i could have already same position as pike i could over i could have already moved here and I would have participated in that fight faster than this one. Of course, we won. Uh, it's because I think uh, mid, it's mid priority different, I guess. Or maybe champ different. Anyway, we won. And now you need to think MF is dead. Alright, 5 seconds. We said we need to check death timer, right? Alright. So 2 seconds, 1 second. And then we need to check our push power. Am I vain? No, am I Jinx? Yes, I have a push power. Auto with the push uh, cannon form, rocket form. Auto, auto, and then when you are pushing and clearing, you need to think where would she? Where is MF? We said the MF death time, and then she need to come back. But she might be around between the second turret, first turret. Yeah, she's already there. So this record time is perfect, right? What if you trying to push the next wave? Then you're gonna lose your record timing. Why? Because MF is not accepting. Because he will, she is the same item as you. Or she might even have more items. Because she died and come back. So you need to go home right now. Yeah. It's perfect. And then when you are, uh, when you went to home, you're coming back, you need to watch where they look. You need to watch ball lane. Where is MF going? Where is Rail going? Are they pushing? Are they slow pushing? Looks like they are slow pushing. Okay, where is mid lane? And can I trade? Mid lane just disappeared on the map. Uh, and there is a big wave. Hmm, I wanna take this big wave. Uh, and if there's any case, mid lane coming bot. Uh, can they dive? Yeah, sure, maybe they could dive, but if I am full HP, I might be able to bring somebody, right? Like I might trade a kill, so it should be fine. So your goal should be don't get Rails W for free. Do not trade for free here. Why do you want to trade for free? Right now, you saw Zed is top. All right, now you can do it. Sure, you can trade right now. So you're going to thin the wave. So do you understand the, the difference of like one second different before here? right right now i don't see that my goal is taking big wave okay i want to take the big wave i will not trade right now i want to thin the wave if i could with my locket range and i see the zed oh so i can auto attack now i will thin it i will try to fight why do i need to thin the wave if you thin the wave that means it has low minions uh thin the minions is a uh, the smaller minions, right? Just to think about it, if there is a big wave, big wave means you can hit the turret longer. So you will lose plate longer. You will lose a plate against MF. So if, because you thin it, now you are able to fight. In early game, minion wave is basically one champion. It is so strong, you cannot fight between the minions. So yeah, 
You now now three three range creep is fine, totally fine. Just to thin it and fight, and keep watching the minimap. Oh, Lilia is topside. So what is gonna happen? Carlos will invade the enemy jungle. Why? Because there is one two. So what do I need to do? Do I need to freeze it? If you freeze it, what if Lilia and MF go to this way? This way. And hit that, uh, trying to kill the Carsos. Is that Carsos fault? No. We should keep pushing. Why would we freeze it? If we are winning this lane, because we are pushing it, now they need to decide. Are you gonna lose your one wave plus one plate? Or do you wanna take it? Because if they take it, that means they can't move to the Carsos. So we are actually preventing that they are wrong with the pushing the wave. Do you understand it? Right? Now I keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Carsos is around the board. Alright. I am looking for a plate. Where is Lilia? Where is Lilia? Keep thinking. Enemy jungle. Where is it? Oh, Lilia is bot. Oh, wait. Lilia it was a bottom. Can I take this plate? Yes, sure. And do I need to back off? Oh, Carlos is right behind of me. He is hiding. He's shadowing for us. Okay, so I can just pretend. Uh, yeah, trying to gank me, man. And nothing happened because Carlos was helping us, right? So now, with this information, what you need to think is, Lilia will go top. Why? Because Lilia just don't have any camp in bottom. No, no camp, no camp, no camp. And he was in tribush. So that means he will go top. He will, he will gonna have blue. So you can just assume after that uh, grapefruit. Oh, Lilia is top. I'm gonna have 2v2. And then for Carson's perspective, he should think about oh, Lilia has blue and he, she might invade the top. She might invade, she might invade the top side. So I need to be careful for you guys, bottom duo. You're just having fun 2v2, good luck. Yeah, do it. Now, Carsus will find the Lilia soon. And Zed. Yeah, Zed is there. Oh, on the minimap. Oh, Lilia is there. So you are pure 2v2. Right? Easy. So now, after you kill the MF, what do I need to think about? MF death timer. MF coming back to the bow lane again. How do I think about? Okay, she survived. And can I take plate? Yes, you can take plate. Can I take extra wave? Maybe not. Why? Because MFW. MFW has also moved on speed. She is around the between. Uh, she is between the first turret, second turret, right? And if I try to push the dead wave, then I may get cancelled by MF's E or like whatever anything, right? So I don't want to get cancelled. You play like this. So with the in, uh, it was just one game and just a ten minute watching it. But we were talking so many things. We were talking about so many things, like push power, gank setup, like where they are. Keep thinking about it. Calculate the death timer, right? That's why I can't make just a, a one simple uh, formula about wave management. We cannot. We have every single game. We have a different champion. Every single champion, different power, right? So we need to learn how to think. Maybe I'm gonna make uh, this series. Maybe uh, depends on champion, right? Or when we have a uh, strong champion, strong jungle gank setup, we need to pull the wave or blah blah blah, right? But I hope you learned about how to think wave management. Like, what do I need to think about? Right? Yeah, that was it.